what's up what's up what's up guys welcome back to the videos yeah i'm sorry i've been gone for a little bit of time so now i actually have two jobs um working one job in the morning once i go from there i go to their job have had any days off so you know i'm just trying to build up my money uh so i can go ahead and get new stuff to go ahead and create new videos like this one uh quick update on the super uh she is down right now so uh, i don't know if i told you guys that i was gonna go ahead and order some uh adjustable end links and some uh sway bar bushings and the uh rocking pinion bushings i went ahead i ordered it i was making a video on it but i started getting really frustrated with the car because um it wasn't really working out but i ended up putting everything back together i went to go start the car and the car keeps hydro locking now not hydro locking with water but it is getting flooded and once it gets flooded um the car won't I'll crank no more so i'll try to crank it by hand um you know going the way it's supposed to go clockwise and it'll go ahead and lock up but if i go backwards it'll go ahead and break free again and it'll crank until it hits that mark again um i kept going ahead and um taking out all the gas i took out the spark plugs um cranked it without the plugs a whole bunch of fuel went out um i'll show you guys a little video that i was doing it by hand where you see all the gas come out i'll go ahead and drop it in now Yep. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, as you guys can see, that's a lot of freaking gas. So I'm not sure what's really going on with the Supra. Uh, once I have more time, I'm going to go ahead and dive into it if I need a second help then i'll go ahead and i'll uh, reach out to uh, my buddy who's a mechanic to go ahead and help me out because again i'm not an actual mechanic i am a youtube mechanic i do all this for fun honestly so everything that i'm doing on the cars now it's either i've seen other people do uh, or i've done it previously on other cars or i'm just doing it learning um as i go like the injectors i've never done injectors before and i went ahead i threw it in and look the car was running good before that honestly before i parked the car the car was running good too i don't even know what the heck happened but that's where we're at with the Supra. But this video is not about the Supra. This video is about the new budget build. Yeah, because the Supra, obviously I love my car. The Supra, I'm never gonna get rid of it. But I also do want a second car. I want something front wheel drive, so you guys already know what I bought. Uh, let me go ahead, let me show you. Yep, so I went ahead and bought a 97 Honda Civic EK. That's an LX, or an EX, I'm sorry. So it does have all the power stuff. Um, I don't have the keys right now. Actually, keys are in my pocket. Let me go ahead and open up and show you guys how pretty clean this interior is, honestly. The reason I bought it. If I know how to open the door. So yeah, door cards are there. Not seem like they're broken. It has uh, some SI seats, HNSI seats. Dash is pretty clean. Only imperfection I see is this little thing, but I can always get a new dash if I want to keep it clean. And it has no headliner, but I'd rather have no headliner than it be sagging. Has the seats in the back, carpets are in. Everything's pretty good. Engine has like 300,000 miles on it, but you know what? I just need this uh, little single cam to work for me for a couple months. Body's pretty clean. Only things trunks have some holes i guess they had a wing on it before and they took off the wing so i do need to find a new trunk um honestly i can save this door if i go get it painted i am gonna get the car painted i want to make the car pretty uh but little things like this i know they can probably fix it but this kind of bothers me so i'm gonna see if i buy a new door hopefully in red and then front end i already uh found the uh two fenders left and right and a new front bumper hood can be repainted I don't see any like dents or anything on the hood so we'll go ahead and get the car painted uh make it look pretty but again everything with time so today actually throughout the week i've just been ordering things while i've been working so i have uh new suspensions put in there i have a new steering wheel uh set up i have a new intake in to put in 
and a new exhaust because the exhaust that came out of there was horrendous oh horrendous it was a uh, fully straight pipe to a muffler that the tip was cut off and uh no no no, no. it's a honda i know it's gonna be loud and stuff but it doesn't have to be disgusting loud it can be you know semi-loud like you know a good tone to it which hopefully the new exhaust i bought would work for it uh remember guys this is gonna be an ebay build not an ebay build but more a a value build so a lot of the parts are gonna be ebay parts amazon parts i'm going cheap with the civic for now just because i'm trying to make it look pretty at the moment and just sound kind of good um so then i can save all my money to then put all the good parts to the supra but once the supra is done then the civic is gonna get a uh, wake me up i don't know which route i want to go with yet um i kind of want to get another d series and just build it so you know if i ever race someone and they get beat you know i can be like, Haha, you guys got beat by a, a little single cam or I might go B series, just stay all motor, you know, nice daily. Or possibly I've been, you know, toying around with the K series. I know everybody's gonna tell me to go K series because it's okay, but K series are expensive, very expensive to do the uh, swap. I've been doing a little research, so I'm not 200% sure what I'm gonna do. But the car's gonna stay like that for you know a couple months, single cam, just gonna drive around. It's gonna be my daily, um, my second job. I'm, I'm delivering pizzas, so I use my girl's car. To go and deliver pizza because i don't want to do it in the civic because obviously the thing has like 300,000 miles on it and it's thick gets kind of annoying oh, supra definitely not going to do any deliveries in the supra one it doesn't run and two i'm definitely not going to do deliveries maybe one day you know for a video i'll probably do it but as of now it's going to be in my girl's car but let me go ahead let me start i'm going to go ahead and throw in the uh the exhaust after i go ahead and throw in the exhaust i'm going to go ahead and go to my local tire shop because all these things are freaking cracked so i definitely need new tires regardless and these tires are way too big i needed something a little thinner because obviously i'm gonna go lower than this so um i want to have that that track stance so for now let me go ahead let me throw in the exhaust so that i can go ahead and get to the tire shop all right guys after wrestling with this shit for a while i finally got it in uh it's sitting a little lower than i wanted it to but now i know why i stay away from ebay parts and shit because Everything fits like crap. Everything fits like crap. But whatever. Something for now so I can go ahead and at least get around without sounding very obnoxious. Uh, let's go ahead and get you a cold start. Yep, so it doesn't sound too bad, but I have a really bad exhaust leak by the um, by the headers where it connects to the exhaust. So let me go ahead and tighten that up, see if that fixes it. All right, cool. I went ahead, I set up the, um, well, I mean, I tightened up the bolts. So now it's coming straight from here. Why does this car sound camped? It's early in the morning here where I'm at. So just give it just a slight rev. Oh, that is freaking loud. But whatever, I guess it sounds better than what it did before. Uh, I'm gonna throw in the new intake really fast and then I'll go ahead and get some tires. But like I said, the exhaust on this side. Sitting lower than I hoped it did. So I'm not gonna be able to go too low. But. I'll get a new exhaust soon because this is junk. So let me go ahead and throw the intake in really quick. This is the before intake that I have. And I'll show you the after. And the after. Went ahead and got the eBay special whale pin. So got it in, all tight. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna clean everything up and then I'm gonna take a quick ride to the tire shop see what they can do for me and i don't know how 
low of tires I'm gonna go because my exhaust sits very low and I wanna lower the car. So we'll find out when we get there. Let's go ahead and clean up and uh, head to the tire shop. So I like the size that I went with. I went with a uh, 195 55 15 front and rear. Uh, I think it's still sitting too high. I was debating on doing the um, suspension or not because this already has true heart uh, struts with uh, TN lowering springs. Might let it set a little bit, but this is the way she sits as of now. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close out this video here because uh, I don't want to do too much in one video. Uh, if I end up doing the uh, suspension, it'll be today, but it'll be in another video. And uh, as well, I got a new steering wheel, so we'll be throwing that in in the next video too. So if you guys like the, the new build, uh, you know, stay tuned. I have a lot of ideas for it. Um, it. It should be cool by the time I'm done with it. So again, go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day.